I found the dime. I like it. I like it. Nice, bud. Nice. Thank you, sir. You do learn new tricks from old dogs. of it was wet. Bungee cords. Nasty. I sat there at the dumpster picking all these wires out. I mean, why not? I had time. I had the time. Some more keys out there. Happy, happy about the keys. Of course, all the wire, too. I mean, I found more, you know, I found more at one time, but man, it's always pleasing. Always pleasing to find any kind of Bear Bright, vinyl. Always pleasing to see that. I'll dig it out. Found some nice chunks of brass. Another screwdriver. Cool. Ten. Where's my ten going? Yeah, we did grab some some that didn't have any in it, but we got some that did have some in it. Some wires that is. Number two wire. This here's all number one. I'll eventually strip it. 
probably tonight. It's not a whole lot, so it's easy to con control when it's not a whole lot. And some of the real, real short pieces, I won't strip. I got a bucket. Some of these real short ones, I don't know. Something like that, maybe. I'll throw it in a bucket. For my number one turn in, my number one insulated. I don't know, though. It depends on uh, how hungry I am that week, how much time I might have uh, to do so. But there's a steel wire, yeah. <laughs> steel wire. Yeah, I picked all this up out of the top of the garbage. You know, most people just leave it alone. I didn't. <laughs> I couldn't leave it alone. I wouldn't be able to go to sleep at night knowing that I left all that wire there. It's a pretty good amount. It only took me about like maybe 15 minutes. 15 minutes catching the breeze. After it's all said and done strip, man, I got about maybe four bucks. Four bucks in copper, 15 minutes worth of work. Like I said, enjoying the breeze, taking a little break, going through the dumpster, top of the dumpster. <laughs> How much more of this stuff's in there, I wonder? I mean, that's just the top of it. There you go, separated. So I got that to strip, won't take no time to strip. Done. I gotta go through these. We'll I'm gonna check out the blade. Check that blade out. Now while we're at it here. Insulated number two. Copper winding number two. Bright copper. Number one. All right, she, let's see how sharp that bad boy is. Yep. It's sharp, but not sharp enough. We'll, we'll put that in the uh, aluminum irony. Got this bad boy. I found this one years ago. Takes a razor blade. We like that. Dude, it's cool. Dig it in. Nice. Can get down the road. Get me something to eat and get down the road. Check out a dumpster and see if these guys uh, save the cans back like they said they're going to be saving me cans. Told them I'll be there last week. Told them, yeah, I'll pick them up this week. So we'll see if they did it. Any of the wire I picked up today has been separated and stripped. Very nice. Some of it went in there. Some of it went in there. The rest of it's gonna go in there. Look at that. Smash it down. Smash it. Cool. Go ahead and close shop. I don't have any more grind cutoff wheels. I get some more cutoff wheels. I even used the two that Snobby sent me. The DeWalt and then the other stainless boy. That stainless disc though. 
I don't know if, I was just cutting regular steel and it went down really quick. I don't know if you're just supposed to cut stainless with that or not, but I figure if it went, went pretty quick on a mild steel, I mean, I don't know how well it would have worked with a stainless steel, but if it was made for stainless, maybe it would have lasted longer, but that this man, it shrunk. It's all good, that's what it was there for, the cut metal. So what I did was, made a mess, <laughs> of course. Always making a mess. I went through my tub, it was piled up. So I went through my tub and grabbed all the bars that I could. And I cut them. I cut everything down. The short, the short pieces here. That's halfway full. This thing's about full and it's all flat pieces. Pieces like that. Had to make some room. All plastic. I guess it fell over. wires.
right, well, got us some steel pipe, some painted siding, little pieces. I take all little pieces. That's a uh, 30 cents a pound. Oops, still kind of early. I don't know, I would call that cast aluminum, but I guess it could be another alloy, like a zinc or something. So last time I turned in a bucket of this stuff and some other, I thought, cast aluminum, which I know some of it was zinc, like the fan blade parts and pieces off the uh, motors. They used to take it as cast, but now he won't do that. The only cast pieces he's going to take is like engine blocks, engine machine parts, you know. <laughs> so this here will go as breakage. They took that bucket as breakage. So what I'll do is I'll just loosen that screw. That's five cents a pound. So I'll just loosen that screw and keep them screws in there. Oh, look at that. We just loosened it up. So there. I'll just turn that in as breakage. Keep the screws in. Alright. Well, we got five of these fart, uh, fart fans. We got five of these fart fans here. And they've been farted in. They've been farted in. At this electric motor, it's fairly lightweight. See, that's another thing. See, these things here, I would turn it in as cast. I had a bunch of these in as cast aluminum. He didn't take it. He wanted breakage on it. So, anyways. Uh, some aluminum chairs, which is extruded. Uh, some fluorescent ballast or fluorescent lighting. Got going on here. Never seen this before. Wild. Then a little, I had a couple of these. More lightings. It's aluminum. Flashing here. That would go with old sheet. Uh, and then a little bucket of little sits. Just a bunch of little sits in there. And then that's the only one I found with wire in it. But there's actually more stuff there. I'm going to you know, set this up while works. I'm going to go back down there. I bet it works. All right, let's go back down there. Sit, meow, mix, sit. Meow. That's a good pussy.